Imagine an AI application that can outperform stock analysts by reading trends, interpreting financial statements, monitoring news, and sensing market sentiments, and all of that integrated to predict stock movements with more precision than many seasoned analysts. And this isn't the future. It's what we are building today. We are building a super interesting application that leverages GPT-4 Omni, Llama 3, Crew AI agents, LLM models from Langchain, and an array of technical tools that would turn complex market data into actionable insights. It may sound complex, but I promise to make it easy to understand and follow. There will be multiple parts in this series and this video is part one. Today, we will build this Chrome extension that lets you analyze stock charts and query AI directly from your browser. You can even chat and ask follow-up questions about the charts and it doesn't lose the context across the tabs. It's simple to use, yet powerful in capability. By the end of this video, you will be able to build and install this tool yourself. Whether you are diving deep into the capabilities of AI or just curious about its applications without being a tech expert, you will find this series very helpful. If you are ready to see this tool transform into a full-blown stock analysis engine, watch this video to the end, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on the upcoming videos. Now let's get started. OpenAI recently released this new model called GPT-40. So what this model allows us to do is to input text, audio and images and generate text, audio and images in return. There are a couple of interesting demos on their website. I suggest you watch all the demos. They are pretty interesting. Today, we will tap into its image and text processing powers to build our plugin. Building a Chrome extension is really simple. It requires setting up a few key files. Now, this is the basic structure of the application. We need manifest.json, popup.html and popup.css. We need popup.js and background.js. You can find the GitHub link to this entire code in the description of this video. Now let's go through these files one by one. So manifest.json file acts as the heart of our extension. It defines settings like permissions, the background scripts, and points to where our UI will load from. There are three key properties to pay attention to. Permissions, background, and action. Here we have given three permissions to our plugin. Active tab, storage, and tabs. Active tab allows our extension to interact with active tab. Storage enables the extension to save and retrieve data. Tabs provides information about tabs and allows the extension to manipulate tabs. For example, opening new tabs, closing tabs, or activating specific tabs. Second property is background. It defines a background script this script runs in the background and can listen for and react to browser events such as tabs being updated or the extension being invoked. Third property is action. Default popup points to popup.html, which is the file that defines the user interface of the extension. Default icon is the icon of our Chrome extension, which is displayed in the browser toolbar. Now popup.html and popup.css are used to create and style the user interface, which in our case includes buttons for capturing stock charts and displaying results and the entire chat window that we have. Let's talk about popup.js. It manages the interactions within the popup window when you activate the extension in your browser. First up, we have a couple of event listeners. These are set up to respond to user actions like clicking buttons within the popup. We have a listener for DOM content loaded. So whenever we click on our extension button and the pop-up window loads, this listener is executed. And here we send a message called get chat history to our background script and background returns the entire chat history. And then we display it in our chat window. We have another event listener for our delete storage button. When it's clicked, we send a message called delete storage to our background.js and background.js deletes the entire history from the storage and then here we clear the chat from our um, chat window as well. We have another event listener for the capture button. So when we click on the capture button, first we send a message called capture visible tab and it is received by our background.js. It captures the image and it returns the image back to us. 
Once we have the image, we emit another message called summarize image and it is again received by our background.js and it makes the API calls to GPT-40 to get a summary of the image and then it returns it back here and we display it in the chat window. We have another listener for send message. So when we type our message in the chat window and click on send message button, this function is invoked. And all this function is doing is first it's displaying that message in the chat window. Then it's emitting a message called send message to GPT, which is again received by our background.js. And it sends this message to GPT via API calls and it receives the response and it returns it back here. After that, we display it in our chat window. Then we have a small utility functions here like display message, which receives the message and it formats the message properly and shows it in the chat window and a function to display the image. Now let's take a look at the background.js and here's where the heavy lifting happens. This script listens for messages from other parts of our extension, such as the pop-up. Each message triggers a specific function based on its type. So it has a listener and it listens for all of these messages that we were emitting from our popup.js like delete storage, capture visible tab, send a message to GPT, summarize image and get chat history. Delete storage clears all the stored data, resetting our extension state. Capture visible tab captures the currently visible tab, taking a snapshot of the stock chart. Get chat history receives any previous conversations from the storage and it returns it back. We have two core functions, send message to GPT and summarize image. The summarize image function receives the image and it creates a system prompt asking GPT to do a couple of things like technical analysis, pattern recognition, statistical analysis. And then based on those analysis, we're asking it to summarize the trend and the prediction. Next, we create the messages. So we pass the system prompt in the system role and we pass the image in the message with the role type user. Now this image is base64 encoded image. After that, we make a post call to OpenAI and we pass the model as GPT-40 and we pass all these messages in the messages field. We need to pass the open API key in the authorization header. And we have defined this open API key at the top of this file. You need to replace this with your own API key. If you don't have this API key already, you can go to platform.openai.com and go to API keys, click on create a new secret and just copy it from there and paste it here. Once we receive the response from this API call, we save it in the history and we send the response back to our popup.js to be displayed in the chat history. We do the same for send message to GPT. Here we are first getting the entire chat history and then we are appending the new message typed by the user to that history. And then we are passing that entire history of messages in the messages field of the API call. This is how we are maintaining the context. So even if user switches tabs or if user closes the pop-up and reopens it, the context will be there because these messages will be picked from the history and they'll be sent in the API call every time. And this is how we are capturing the active tab. When this function is called capture visible tab, we utilize this inbuilt chrome.tabs.capture visible tab function. And it captures the image in the PNG format. And finally, we have small utility functions for saving the chat message in the history, or retrieving it or deleting it. So all you need to do for this application to work is to update this API key. Now that you understand how the extension works, now let's see how you can install and use it for yourself. All you need to do is follow the link in the description, download the files. Once you have these files in your local folder, open the browser and go to chrome colon slash slash extensions. Once you're here, enable the developer mode on the right hand side. Once it's switched on, click on load unpacked and go to that folder which contains all these files and click on select folder and you'll see your extension. Now let's see our extension in action. I'm using money control website to analyze charts in this demo. So here we have a chart for HDFC and I'll open the extension by clicking on the extension icon and we have this UI where we have these three buttons capture, delete storage 
and send. So if I click on capture, it will capture this entire graph. It will send it to GPT. It will be summarized by GPT-4 row and a detailed summary of the chart will be returned. As you can see, we have the response and it's, it's a very detailed one. It's explaining like all the technical analysis factors about it and there is a recommendation to buy. We can even chat with GPT in continuation to this message. The context history will be maintained. So let's say I ask, why have you recommended to hold or buy this stock? And this is what we have received. The recommendation to hold or buy the stock is based on the combination of these. We can make a number of improvements to this. For example, selecting a specific area on this tab instead of the entire tab and giving our custom prompts for each of those captured images. And these are easily doable on the top of what we have right now. And we will be doing those in the future videos. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about this tool. We have only scratched the surface today. In our upcoming videos, we'll dive deeper into customizing the extension for different markets and exploring advanced AI features. If you are excited about AI, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified about our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.